so um, again, we're, it's Monday and we're working on bringing more power to the figure. So uh, I have a frontal plane that we're creating with a transition for the thighs to come out kind of like a body in that you have a hip flexor before um, you go from the leg out from the core. And so we're kind of, I mean, if you were to think of the pelvic block as this, that's kind of what we're thinking about. And this is our inguinal ligament coming down the pubic bone. Um, so the drapery kind of mimics these things and follows it. So here's our frontal plate for the abdominal wall, and then here's ASIS. And then coming out, we might have this flexion fold in a flesh, but here we have a rise on um, quadricep, right just from where we're shooting in here. So this form, now I'm pulling it out. And this is really all to make more power and a sense of expansion under the drapery. So the drapery is not just um, there as a decorative element, but more as something that lays on top of the body that is in a dramatic, forceful, active movement. Hi, this is Charlie. It's Monday morning, and this morning I'm working on this part of the coat. We switched his coat uh, just so that I could sculpt this lower part. Uh, so I have to, every time he goes back in the pose, reset the fold that I'm looking for. And that funny thing about the challenge is making sure that you're conscious of what your reference is and being able to reproduce it every time that the model takes a break. So. Here, I'm looking for a fold here and then setting, folding this under and setting it over the thigh. So I get a nice design that brings uh, the movement around the thigh and then back around the back. So, um, Show me on the sculpture. Then here's what I've got here. And at this point, I've sort of blocked in the basic idea, but um, I'm just gonna push the volume here and have it turn under clearer and um, get a couple folds twisting around the back too.